Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to They Are Billions. It's episode 11, and I am still on the lands of the giant. It's going to reward me 180 science points. It is really cold out here, which means that my energy needs are quite more than what you normally have. Um, objective, destroy all the infected, get a colony population of a thousand. In the objective that says destroy all the infected, it also includes killing off this guy. He is also one of the infected, so you can clear the whole map, just leave him standing, build up your forces, and get ready for the final battle. And that's the plan over here. Because as I have pushed out to additional iron mining, I now have an income of iron of 9. And I am just pushing out soldiers after soldiers after soldiers. Just basically as many as I can afford, as quickly as I can afford. And with my economy going pretty damn well, just need a few more workers. I'd say we're going to get there. It's just going to take a bit more time. I believe that I have upgraded almost all of my housing to um, the stone housing. I just need a bit more stone. And then I have all stone housing. Which is ideal because it means you need less housing for your colonists. At least less space. And you get... What is it? 16 colonists per house. Attention. So with a couple more upgrades, it should be on 820, I think. Reporting for duty. Now, that increase in workforce is going to be needed because I'm running out of workers. I'm also going to be needing a bit more farming. Because that is going to be the next bottleneck if I want to throw down a whole bunch of housing blocks. So let's go with another two farms. That's about 120 food. And... That should get me enough to keep going with the houses. For duty. The houses are by far my most protected area. Reporting that is over duty. here in the core of the colony. This is mostly farms. Still, I really don't want them to breach this area. So I have set up quite a lot of defenses over here. Making sure that station. random waves, which do happen on this map. They're not so much swarms, but well, they're no fun. I need to make sure that those guys don't accidentally hit a couple of farms. If they hit one farm, it might be containable. If they hit multiple farms, I have a real issue on my hands. Now, how many soldiers we got? We got 28. Well, that's a good start, but we're going to need quite a few more. Gentlemen, move out. This is your new staging ground, because the staging ground inside the gates was getting a little crowded. Alright, you boys. Sorry, ladies. Inside the tower. Really? They might be good archers, but they're not too bright. Alright, welcome to Task Force 3. 30 soldiers. We're gonna move across the map like a storm of lead. And murder anything that gets in the way. And there won't be a whole lot of that. At least. Not if I have anything to say about it. Keep reinforcing this wall. Oh. I built another... Yeah, we're here. We shouldn't be here. Because this is a gate. I don't especially think that I'm going to need it, but still. Alright, guys, chase. Food's good, power's good. Pump out two rain or two soldiers with every center. Three, and I ran out of cash. Population 888. Uh, food and power are good. But power goes fast with these big houses. That is 13 power each, so that's another 5 housing. So the next bit of construction is going to be mills. Now, I'm not likely to be building anything in this area, except for mills. Maybe a few stray houses. But aside from that, I have no plans. So that's a nice area to set up some more mills. Soldiers up to 41. Just chase. I'm going to keep an Just eye on those because I really don't want them to accidentally hit the area 
of the giant. If they manage to do that, then... Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. You can stack your buildings in a hotkey group. Um, if they manage to piss off the giant and they somehow lure the giant back to base, that's the end of the game. Or at least at this playthrough. I'm going to keep in mind that these soldiers do want to get service. paid. It's only three, but it does cut into your budget a little bit. For duty. Mm, more stone. For duty. Let's see. Get the population to about a thousand. We're near enough. And once again, I'm out of cash. Still, throw down four of these houses, and you got another 64 colonists. So that speeds things along nicely. If you can afford them. <laughs> Food's gone. Uh, they require 16 food each. Fortunately, farmland is plenty on this map. This, I do feel like, is a bit of a problem waiting to happen. Like, the amount of zombies that can spawn from over here if they manage to break through, the could be disastrous. So I gotta keep an eye on that. Attention. And maybe send the QRF that way if they decide to make a move on those walls. The train has arrived at the station. Now with 30 soldiers, you can just put them on chase and they'll murder everything in their way. The enemy is not even gonna get close enough. Okay, pump out some more soldiers. Uh, we're up to 51. That is still not enough. I like how you can hotkey these buildings. That makes the process of building all these soldiers a hell of a lot faster. We did do some damage to the wall over here. Set up a bit of a backup wall. Not that I'm concerned they're going to push through, but I'd rather not risk it either. Let's see. I have some room over here. And I'm out of cash. Yeah, they're expensive houses, that's for sure. Reporting for duty. Tell me. I don't think I'm going to get any veteran soldiers out of this. But then again, I don't really expect these guys to live long enough to make it to veteran with that guy around. Understood. Any orders? Come on. All right, Chubbs, hold there. Task Force Three, hold here. I think that they cleared out everything over here. Um, still, I have a good defensive position here. I have a whole bunch of firepower standing by, both in the form of rangers and soldiers. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's keep spawning in more soldiers. 64 current. And another 5 we're in 69. I just need a bunch more. Uh, once again, out of food. Despite the enormous food output that I have over here. It's still not enough. But again, soldiers do require food. Yeah, they require one food each. So 69 soldiers does take 69 food as well. And can I set up another mill somewhere? Because I'm going to need more power. Once again, this wall. Hmm. They have never tried this wall yet. I'm not expecting them to. Attention. Building but you never know. Attention. Oh, you're supposed to Building be in here. Completed. Okay. Attention. Cash is Building good, food completed. is good. We're at 1080, so we already passed the 1000 population marker. That's good. Now, my plan is slightly cheesy, yet effective. I'm going to have a couple of groups of soldiers 
mounting around 30 per group, maybe 20, so I have a bit more control over them. With those rangers, or sorry, with those soldiers, I'm going to be kiting. So one group's going to be over there, one over there, one over there, one over there. One group's going to aggro this giant and pull it towards it, and the other three groups are going to be firing at it. So I'm going to have one group running away the whole time. And at some point the zombie turns around, goes after another group. If he does that, I move up another group. And so forth. Is everything okay? Okay. Um, how many are Did you? you? You're eleven. Oh, hello. On your orders. You're eleven. Waiting on orders. Eighteen, Did nineteen. Orders, sir. Twenty. That Task force four. The has arrived at the station. Orders, sir. Reporting for uh, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, Commander? eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Alright. I'm gonna override task force one and two that I had for the Rangers. You are gonna pay uh, task force three is a bit too big. Commander, ready and waiting. You guys Tell disengage me. from the group. Is oh, hello. Okay? Sorry, ladies. Ready and Didn't know there was anybody still you. alive out here. Just tell me what to do. Twenty-three of them. Twenty-two. Service. Twenty-one. Twenty. Orders, sir. All no, away. not you. Just guide me to the Task Force Three. They are trying to break do you through. Need me? They are. Well, they're not really doing a good job at it. Perfect. Um, Order, okay, sir. so Task Force 3 is ready. Task Force 2 still is consistent of Rangers. Waiting on orders. Right, let's see, Task Force 2 is now 11. Just guide me to the infected. Now I have 21. Commander? Uh, you're not part wait. of Task Force 2. You that are. Will be easy. This is Task Force 2 and 3. I'm going to have Commander? 1 and 4 over here, and I'm pushing in from this side. The so it's going to be a little, a little busy at this gate. And uh, these ladies can just push through here. Make sure that there's absolutely nothing in the way. Because that would be a problem. Soldiers, 86. And that's with more on the way. Any orders? Of course, my commander. Okay, Task Force 2 ready. Is everything okay? All I believe this is the entirety of Task Force 3. Oh, Sorry, Task Force sir. 2 has one additional soldier. Yeah, you. No. Nope. Get over here. That will be easy. That's going to be what? Task Force 5. Gotcha. Let me put an arrow in his head. Yes. Right between the 91 eyes. soldiers. And yet, I have seen people make blobs of 300 soldiers. Just in order to push something. Stay right where you are, Chubbs. Don't go on any adventures. This is not an adventurous area. There's no area of interest there. Nothing to see, nothing to do. It's really quite boring. And I would really appreciate it if you didn't go gallivanting around the forest, attacking my buildings. Just... Don't. Let's see about some of these guys. All the way. We kite him back in. Where are you going? I can still see him on the map. Come on. This is, however, a pretty decent opportunity to push a couple of groups in position. Just gotta make sure they don't accidentally engage. Reporting for Is everything okay? All right, boys. Welcome to Task Force Five. Task Force Five is currently twenty-two. Should be enough. Um, we're doing Perfect. it. If I mess up now, I still have a chance to get back. Let's see. Workers are all right, but they are the next bottleneck. It's Reporting because I'm spending all my workforce on soldiers. I don't like that this guy is just over here, because that means I cannot kite him. And these soldiers, they look mighty impressive, but it's not enough to take down that guy. Reporting for duty, sir. Reporting for duty. 
The train has arrived at the station. All right. Okay. Get over here. You're going to be joining uh, Task Force 2. Let's get some additional workforce in here. Three housing, that's another 48 workers. But no food. Oh, there was a 54 there. 54, there. And if I still need more, I can always colonize this area. Alright, since these rangers are not doing anything useful, let's put them on patrol. Task Force 2 is 30 soldiers. Any orders? And there is more where that came from. Okay, I still need one more. Then I have 121. Attention. Building completed. And if I cannot make it work, I'm gonna have to kite him back here. Attention. Not Building down here. Because that would mightily ruin my day. Reporting for duty. The train has arrived at the station. There we go, 26 additional workers. Just to be on the safe side, I am going to keep producing soldiers. At your service. On your orders. Just guide me to the infantry. Let's see, this is uh, one, four, and five. Just tell me what to do. Five is now Understood. 31. Okay. Whew, this guy's all the way up here. Great idea, sir. Great idea, yeah. Wait until I give you your Sorry, orders. Sir. At that point, you might change your mind. All the way. Tell me. Order, sir. Push here. Tell me. For the colony. Stack up. Do you need me? All the way. Just tell me what to do. Come on, giant. All right. Let's end this. What's this? Is honor guard or something? Hello, boy. Perfect. Whoa! Okay, move on. Look at that. He just hit two soldiers, and they're already down at half health. And that's a soldier less. And the guy regenerates. So he's already at 100% health. Let the great kite fest begin. Run, run, run. I'm under no illusion that these guys are... <clears throat> Sorry, all going to survive. Um, number two, keep moving. Number three, keep going. Two. First group attack. We're definitely doing some damage. He's down to 7,800. You guys, sir. push over there. Looks like they're after these. Kind of. Great idea, sir. Let's get them. Five and a half K. The problem is he wipes Order. out so many soldiers Order, with sir. one swipe that it is definitely devastating Order. the numbers that I have. Let's go. Ready and waiting. Just guide me to the infected. We got him. All right. All soldiers, free to fire. Because now I can just push out and basically kill anything that's left on the map. And I think everything that is left on the map is up here. You are gonna just to be sure. Right. Oh, the rangers are still looking for targets to the south. Uh, there's a couple of low lives. Look at this blob. <laughs> okay. These soldiers, there's so many of them that the second line and the third line doesn't even get a shot off. Alright, now they're pushing up north? In a hurry? That means that the other rangers, yeah, the other rangers are also on the move. Let's just push through. All right. 
Yep, that's the last of them. Map done. Score 200%. Or 200 points, not 200%. Some of these guys, streamers, YouTubers, are supposedly doing this on 800% difficulty. How? Like, what the fuck? Okay, we've got an infected swarm with 2,800 infected. Um, and there are quite a few fast in these as well. These are all fast. So this is definitely not going to happen. Uh, mass sniper is no longer an option. Yes, but the snipers are too slow to escape the giant. So I don't really like the snipers for that reason. Um, reason two, I don't have the snipers unlocked yet. The snipers are still behind about 260 points. No, the thing that I'm going for is the plasma spheres. And I can now get it. This is the shocking tower. This just blobs or just blabs a whole blob. So I can now take out larger swarms with basically one discharge. But they do need time to charge up. Now there is one mission that I completely overlooked, I guess. And that's the communications factory. I did do the weapons factory, whoops, but I did not yet do the Alpha Communication Center for another 250 research. So this is something that I'm going to be looking into. What's that blinking newspaper? Um, you collect news articles. I don't find them terribly interesting, which is why I haven't shown them on the screen yet. But this is a sort of background slash lore about what happened and why the world is the way that it is. For example, in 2085, 99% um, of the world's population lives in megacities. How is that not a problem waiting to happen? Diseases spread like wildfire. Just a population density of that much is a disaster waiting to happen. The next one is city life, trouble in paradise. Several, no several notable megacities have surpassed the 90 million population threshold. Raising the alarm among distinguished scientists. Oh, really? 90 million? Um, an esteemed urbanization scientist claims the viability of the model need urgent attention. Left unchecked, life in megacities is headed for destruction. Not in a matter of years, but in a matter of months. So this lady had an idea about what was going to happen. The government, on the other hand, maintains that these are alarmist activists whose views are unsubstantiated and that our current system is under control. Right. They have no comment on the neighbor on the report of unrest and riots on the rise in low-income neighborhoods attributed to a shortage of basic necessities. How does logistics even work that feeds a city of 90 million? Anyway, let's check out the Alpha Communication Center. I think that these missions are exceptionally boring, so I'm going to set it to easy and just get it done as quickly as possible. Uh, we have an upgrade for Calliope. Uh, what's the first one we picked for her? What did I pick? She Oh, she is only level 2. Did I pick armor by any chance? Yeah, I think I picked armor. Um, let's go for attack speed. Okay. Another 250 science awaits me. Let's get going. One of the reasons I don't like these missions Tell me what to do. is that you're just basically clicking and clicking and clicking around the map, Attack! waiting to find a couple of boxes like these. But All it just right. takes so damn long before you get it done. For the humans. And sometimes you're just looking for that one Come box and you breeze. can't find it. You know that there is a little bit more science I in the game, a little bit Rest more gold on the map, Piece of cake. and you can't find it. For the humans. That's not something I find to be particularly that's interesting. Easy. So that's why I put them on easy. Um, I don't care about no my problem. end score. I'm not a massive completionist in that sense. Roger that. So I just need this mission to get out of Take my way. That. And to get the science rewards from it. Because those I will definitely need. Piece of cake. Okay, what do I have here? Uh, medical it. kits. It's a breeze. Keep pushing. If I'm not mistaken... 
Yeah, there's a chubby over there. Understood. Bullseye. Roger this that. is what we have grenades for, after all. Taste my lead. Yes. Taste my lead, she says as she throws a grenade. Yes. Okay. Um, some of these crates are blinking, so let's pick up whatever is in there. What is this? Bit of empire points. This will come in handy. And research. Right away. Apparently, the lower the difficulty, the more these chests blink if you have overlooked them. It's a walk it definitely makes it a hell of a lot easier to find everything. Yes. And it allows you to go through You're these the missions barrier. a little faster, generally. No, I think I got everything from this room. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Now, this is not the first Understood. time that I've played this map. Uh, it is not the second time that I'm playing this map. I have Eat played this map bullets. a lot. Because sometimes you just cannot Empire. find what you're looking for, so you decide to restart, or uh, your hero dies, whatever happens. Sometimes it just goes to shit. So I know what's going to happen on the map. It's a walk in the park. Great. Just for stats, uh, this is not some random obstruction. These are corpses. It took me a while before I figured that out. I was just like, oh, damn, I cannot go I'm through here, it. whatever. These are all corpses. You can see a couple of chubbies over here. You can see all the bodies piled up. But they're piled up so high that she cannot pass. That is how many corpses gotcha. these guys took. Or how many zombies Take these guys that. took down. Before finally right. succumbing. For the Empire. That must have been a hell of a lot of killing going on. Let's go. And apparently they had enough ammo for it. Okay, anything interesting in this room? Because there is a crate, but it's not lighting up. There's another Okey medical dokey. crate. Looks cool. Uh, and there's another room down here. I'll pick that up on my way out. Got it, Chief. Push through. In pieces. This is an infinity spawn point. And that makes that I don't want to linger too long over here. Yes. Great. That's a couple more grenades. Sure. Roger that. This is another way to play the map, Bullseye. by the way. Just basically pushing through as quickly as possible and making sure Alrighty. that you're so fast and only Killing she can do time. it that they don't get close. You just run through the map, you pick up what you nice. need, and you leave. bullets and on the one hand i kind of get it why they have these maps because it sort of adds this lore of what happened to the world and that you're yes. exploring these ancient places Two well weapons, ancient is relative uh, they're exploring Understood. these places with a hero unit although one might expect a bit more sure of a thing. team instead of just one lady with a couple of guns sure. but on the other hand it's... Hmm. Attack! It doesn't really I click. Die! Now, there is nothing of interest in this room, unfortunately. Gotcha. So let's just keep moving through. I'm oh, this on one. It. I forgot this one. Just saw it blink there in the corner. Health, 53 out of 60. So she's fine. I'm on it. 30 science. Got it, chief. Yeah, I'm not even going to engage these guys. Yes? Push up to the next door and to the next room. Let's go. This thing might contain something. Let's see. Okey 30 science. Another small crate that's usually empire points. Let's science. Go. Okay. Let's go. And this is where the fun starts. Okie dokie. Watch this. I'm on it. Here it says we have the cells, sector B. Attention, dangerous rebel prisoners do not feed the beasts. Rebel prisoners, Roger you say. That. Snipers. These guys are here to help me. 
We will follow you until we get out of the forest and then we will part ways. You've been warned. Follow your path and don't look back. Yes, sir. But now I have snipers. And these are all veteran snipers at that. That makes them excellent shooters. Very good damage. Um, you could argue that maybe soldiers would have had a bit more DPS. But having a bunch of snipers watching your back is definitely fun. Unfortunately, she just massively outspeeds them. Got it. Yeah. Now, sometimes I am taking a few too many risks this with her, but basically Empire. I have so many medkits and so much health. Wonderful. And there's so that little risk that I can just push through. This over here is where things can get a little hectic. What do you want? Because we are about to hit the roof. The an radio antennas park. Do not enter. The invaded have... Uh, sorry, the infected have invaded the outer courtyard and the command center. Yes. Yeah. Of course. There is a good number Attack! of them, but right. unfortunately for them, they're all no standing fear. in the middle of these explosive barrels. Which definitely makes clearing this place a hell of a lot faster. Let's go. And basically, you just attack move your way through. You just... Yes. Well, I don't think I can put waypoints gotcha. with... Oh, actually, I can. What Whoops. What do you want? Child's play. My oh, come on. Ready. Wonderful, yes. I was hoping to put these guys on attack move and then make sure that they don't actually take any further orders before they uh, clear the whole rooftop, but I guess... Understood. For yeah, the this is the way you do it. You hold shift and then you press Q a couple of times and you sit back, you go get a coffee... You just wait for it to be over, Holy sort crap. of. This place is crawling with rats. I need to kill something. Of course. There's another crate up there. Got it. More science. I need to explode a skull. Commander. I'm gonna bring this one for her. Breeze. That'll come so in handy. Targets, gotta love it. Bullseye. To the death. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of these missions? Do you find them interesting, or is it just a bit humdrum? Or oil drum in her case, gotcha. maybe? Just trying to kite a few zombies to the snipers. My rifle is ready. Yeah. What do you need? That didn't kill too many of them. This crate's empty. At your service. Ready. Push this way. And then push that way. You just have so much firepower, especially in easy mode, that they generally don't even get close. I mean, sure, if she's going out it alone, then they might get close. But what? if she's escorted by all these snipers, then they don't yes? stand a chance. Now, let's drop the barrel here. So many targets, gotta love it. Let's go. Because things are about to go boom. Not that many of them, though. All right. Rest yeah, this in is peace. manageable. Roger that. Just gonna kite him out of the room and get him to the snipers. Excellent idea, sir. Well, I'm glad you agree. That's easy. Okie dokie. Full back. Let the long guns take care of it. There you right go. Away. Room clear. Um, this book has something. Science. The There's the it objective. Another book. Like it. More science. Sweet. Uh, the Show screen has the science. Money. And that should top off the science Piece that I need. So I just need a bit more cash. Anything blinking here? No. So that means that the rest of the cash is probably down here in this room. What? Let's go get it. Um, everybody attack move over here. Especially with this. I mean, I could just tell them to attack move over here. And I could now take a bathroom break. I could now just leave. Because it doesn't matter. And if you can put your game on, um, just 
autoplay in that sense. I don't think it's really good game design. That is, well, maybe with one exception. If you're playing something like Factorio, where the whole objective of the game is to make it as easy and as automated as possible, then yes, I can get behind it. If the objective of the game is to form or to provide a sort of an action experience, what? then it I is not really that. what you're looking for. Need increased difficulty, yeah. But even no then, survivors. I don't find them terribly interesting. That's why I have them on easy. I love it. Taste my lead. Tell me your darkest thoughts. Snipers are taking this sweet time Perfect. getting here. Rest in peace. Oh come on, there should be something out here. Yeah, there's one Body crate down chief? there. What's and that's that? grenades. But I'm not looking for grenades, I'm looking for cash. Um, what room did I not entirely clear? I don't see anything blinking over here. No. This what is just an infinite need? spawn point, so I don't really want to be here. Oh, hold on. There's one. Priceless. Twenty. I'm on it. I need either one or two more. Let's go. If this is what I mean. I'm now hunting pixels. I'm now hunting one, probably tiny object that I need to find. One. Something really small. Because you saw how small the thing was that I had to pick up over there. There's great here, there's great there, there's nothing in here. Did I skip anything over here? Nope, I don't think so. Roof. This area is clear. Uh, there's no exits or anything like that at or near the roof. There's this one outside area and I've poked up the box over there. Yeah. No crate here. This crate I checked. There's no crate there. There's a crate here. I checked it. There's a crate there. I checked it. This is why I don't like the missions. I don't want to be held up by something as mundane as this. Come on. Nope, I'm done. Roger that. Let's just move to the exit. And the snipers will find their own way out, I'm sure. And yes, I did miss out on a whole 30 points, which basically means I can get one soldier less. Well, that's survivable. Okay, and with that, I'm going to end episode 11. Next up, I need to either go uh, take out this swarm over here, which has 2,600 infected. Let's get the difficulty back up, though, because that might increase the numbers. Uh, 8,000 infected. Or this swarm, another 1,000 infected. These guys are fast. These guys, with a 1,000 of them, might pose more of a risk than all of these guys down here. Um, or... I need to take out another 2,800. This definitely is not happening yet. Let's go for the level 2 missions first. But again, that's on the next episode. Thank you for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you soon for the next one.